Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Lucky here. Um, so the date right now is September, I mean October, sorry, October 18th, 2017. And I just want to make this blog update real quick, just be about five minutes. I want to talk about house prices and basically what is happening all over the planet. Um, I'm going to show you an example of Vancouver in just a minute. What they are basically doing, and, and this has happened in Vancouver, this has happened you know, in cities all over the world in London. I mean, Vancouver is an extreme example. London actually is an extreme example too. We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's what they do. They have filthy rich foreigners buy up a massive amount of the housing stock. That's actually happening in London, and that's happening in Vancouver. Where filthy rich foreigners, these are foreigners with net worths of like 20 million, 50 million, hundreds of millions of dollars, they will buy up a lot of houses in these cities. So Vancouver, for example, has a massive amount of um, filthy rich shy comps, which are basically affiliated with the Communist Party in China, or they make business deals with the you know, Communist Party in China. And they go to Vancouver with their tens of millions of dollars that they made in China. And then they buy up houses and they drive the prices insane. They make the houses like two million, five million dollars. It's basically, Vancouver is basically, um, it, it, it's basically like where they take all their money. You know, the shy comms make their money off the slave factories in China. The shy comms make the money off the slave factories in China. They then take that money and they go to Vancouver and then they just spend all that money on housing in Vancouver because they perceive it as a safe investment. And London is very similar, although with London it's a little bit different because it's mostly filthy rich oil darks. These are basically Middle East sheiks that have a lot of money off the oil, oil, oil industry. People in Russia that have a lot of money off the oil industry. These are basically like CEOs of oil companies. You know, basically people that are connected to the oil industry, they're like billionaires, 100 millionaires. And they go to London and they dump all their money basically in London real estate, making the prices sky high. So you basically have this phenomenon happening all over the West. Other other cities as well, you know, there's cities in Asia, that are, this is happening as well, where you have filthy rich foreigners basically buying up the housing stock, driving up the prices so locals can't afford it. But then at the same time, you know what they're doing? They're flooding it with massive third world immigration. And a lot of these immigrants are on welfare, a lot of these immigrants are on food stamps, and they're flooding these people into these cities because they're the low-wage workers. So then us people in the middle, you know, the middle-class Americans, middle-class Canadians, of all races, black, Latino, white, Asian, we are basically being squeezed. We are basically being squeezed. And we are being destroyed because at the same time, we can't get wage increases because we have to compete with the illegals. We have to compete with the illegals. We have to compete with the illegals that are driving down the wages. We have to compete with massive out-of-control immigration that's driving down the wages. At the same time, we have to do that and compete with just millions and millions of immigrants driving wages way, way down. Because a lot of these immigrants, they get fortified with welfare and food stamps and free housing so they can afford to make eight, nine bucks an hour because they're getting all this food stamp money, they're getting all this free money, they're getting government housing, they're getting all this free stuff with the welfare state so they can afford to make low wages and they just take that money and they just spend it whatever they want because all their main expenses are paid for, their food is food stamps. They get um, housing paid for with Section 8 and different government programs. And then what happens to us middle class Americans that make 40, 50,000 a year? You know, we don't get wage increases because we're competing against people you know, on welfare food stamps that just were brought into this country as refugees or they're illegals and they just came into this country to have an anchor baby. And we're competing against these people and these people can make way less money than us because they're propped up with a massive welfare system that allows them to make less money. That benefits the corporate elites because the corporate elites make tons of profit. They make tons of profit off the low wages and then we don't see wage increases. Our wages go down adjusted to inflation. So the middle class of all races, we're being squeezed, we're being destroyed. And then meanwhile, the rents are skyrocketing, the housing prices are skyrocketing because filthy rich foreign elites at the top, they're buying up a lot of the housing stock in these cities. It, it's just utterly disgusting. I'm going to show you an, an example of this in Vancouver right now. So here is the example of Vancouver. Um, let me just adjust this camera because I want to show you this. All right, so this is a website. I'm just going to take the camera out. It'll be a lot easier that way. In fact, we almost went to the limit of five minutes. So here's the website real quick. Um, man, this camera sucks. Let me try to adjust the camera. All right, so there's the website, finally, finally. All right, so this is the whole website, homes.com. 
This is Vancouver, Canada. This is Vancouver, Canada. All right, check this out. This is 580 square foot, one bedroom commie condo. Look at the price. Look at the price, 750,000. Now, I believe these are Canadian, so it's a little cheaper. It's like 600,000 US dollars. But still, I mean, these prices are absolutely astronomical. Here's another commie condo, 1,300 square feet. That's just like a small ranch house in middle America, folks. A small ranch house in middle America, that would be like 180,000. 180,000, but in Vancouver, it's 1.8 million. You can just go down and you can just see, here's a nice single family house, very nice, middle class, respectable single family house, but the price is not middle class. The price is like filthy rich leads. The price is filthy rich leads, 2.5 million. Folks, the wages in Vancouver are like lower than most middle middle American cities, okay? The wages in Vancouver are like 40, 50,000 a year, right? The people in Vancouver are being priced out of their own city. They can't afford it, you know? The people in Vancouver are literally being priced out of their own city. And this is because filthy rich foreigners are basically buying up a massive amount of the real estate in Vancouver and they're driving the prices insane. They're making the prices absolutely insane. I mean, here's a nice house and it's like, there's one here, yeah, here, look at this. There's like a really nice house. You'd expect that to be like just under a million because it's 4,800 square feet. So you'd expect that to be just under a million, but because it's Vancouver, the price is almost 10 million, $9 million. I mean, it's just a joke. And this is happening all over the West. It's happening in London, Paris, Seattle, San Francisco, LA, New York, Sydney, Australia. You know, it's happening all over the West because this is their system. This is their system. What they do is they have filthy rich foreigners buy up a lot of the housing stock. That makes the house prices skyrocket. All right, then they flood it with extremely poor immigrants on welfare, refugees. They lower the wages dramatically. They lower the wages dramatically. The rich people benefit dramatically. And then at the same time this is happening, us middle class people are being squeezed because we can't afford the housing. At the same time, we can't get wage increases because we're competing with the illegals. We're competing with mass immigration. And then at the same time, our culture is totally transforming. You know, the culture is totally transforming into a slave culture where we're basically being turned into slaves. It's just, it's just utterly sick. It's utterly sick.